This is Joe Reviews here to get today, doing another review today. This is the review of the Innova Precision, Precision Cooker. Um, I got this because I wanted to make steaks and I wanted to make them even. And according to the reviews I've seen, that's exactly what it does. We'll, we'll get to test that out during my review. But first I wanted to show what's included in this. So this is a brand new unit. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth version. Uh, 900 watt version um, and uh, the box very simply packed it comes with this over here which is a quick um, quick guide for precision cooking it's called um, some very basic information on here on um, the unit itself and how to use it with Wi-Fi um, and how to set it up What's included, and then when you get this, it's, uh, it comes with this over here, talking about uh, uh, where you call if you have questions. There's a community that helps you with it. In order to really get effective use out of this, there's a uh, you hook this up to your phone. So I brought my phone with me to be able to uh, to use this. What's in the box? So. It's actually very, not much is in the box. It's just really this to keep it dry and the unit itself, nothing else. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm gonna get this ready, show you what I'm gonna do with that, and then I'm going to make some steak. Um, I'm gonna include you as part of this and I will stop and start at different points so that we can get an idea of really what it takes to be able to use this unit um, to create some steaks. So I'm back now. So I uh, showed you the set, what's included uh, within the box. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. So I've never used this before, but from what I've been reading, I got mistakes. I was told that I need to use Ziploc bags, so I'm gonna use the Ziploc bags with that. Also need clips to be able to hold this in the pot. In addition to that, these steaks I'm going to season a couple of them with uh, some steak seasoning and the other two with salt and pepper and uh, put those in the pot. So I'll show you in a second me putting all of these in the pot as soon as I put all this together. Uh, again, I showed you me preparing the steaks. I put all four steaks in four Ziploc bags. Um, so let me show you the unit itself. So this, so, so this is the unit. I'm going to plug it in, in a second for the first time. To clean it, uh, if you twist it, you can actually take this off, and I think you take the bottom off also to be able to clean this out. Um, and to put it back on, you just do the reverse uh, of that. On here, you can see that there is a max and min setting. So when you put this in, look where your water's at compared to the max and min. It comes obviously with this to be able to hold this in. So I'm going to put this on right now. There's, there's two set, there's two things here. One is this over here that connects it to here, and the other one is this top one over here that will make it um, hold this in at a certain level. So I'm gonna put this in such as this. Put that in. Plug this in like this. And then plug this in. Going on for the first time, you can see the te current temperatures over here. What it's set for is over here. Um, this over here is how you change these. So you can change it with the uh, with these settings, and you can also uh, change it. I assume with the phone. I'll be doing that in a second, and I will show you back what I see. But let me go turn this up to um, what I saw for what I want to put in. So let me go put these in one at a time here. Um, put these down a little bit. Each one has a clip. Okay, now it's heating up. It looks like it's. Rotating the water. So rotating 
Ramię. I said, this is my first time doing this and I might have been a little overzealous. It looks like I, my pot's not going to hold all four of my steaks. So I'll create two, I'll do two now and I'll do two later. Um, because it looks like I am maybe get two or three in, but I don't think I can get all four in. Um, there's the pot. So, as I said, I will put this in like this. Yeah, I'm just going to put two in here because it looks like the other two will not. So, um, I will let these two cook. Do these two right now. Okay. So, it's starting now. And, uh... I will come back in a little bit uh, and show you what I see on the uh, phone, uh, show you what I did on there, and uh, also uh, 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 show you some progress a little bit later related to this. Okay? So uh, what I've done so far has been, wow, um, probably over a half hour, and it's not quite to the temperature I want, but it's getting there. Uh, I did load the app on my phone. Now. I have the Wi-Fi version, and one of the benefits of the Wi-Fi version is that it's supposed to also be able to connect to your Google Home or Amazon Echo, and I have both, and I tried both, and followed the directions in both from their website, and also looked at a bunch of reviews on the internet related to it, and at this point in uh, almost November 2017, um, it, I could not get it to work on either. Um, and I followed the exact directions from both, looked on the websites, looked in the reviews. Looks like a lot of other people are having the same problem that I'm having. So, um, at least as, as of today, I would not rely on the Echo or the Google Home uh, functionality. Now, uh, right now, so I set mine for 160. This is uh, based on the wellness that I want done. There's a bunch of uh, uh, sites on the internet where it shows you different wellnesses. And, um, and how long it takes and everything else. And based on the wellness that I want, I put it in at 160. Probably is too much for some people, maybe too little for others. So as you see, it's preheating. The green thing's going around, it's preheating. I set it to time for an, an hour and a half. Um, oops, an hour and a half once it actually hits the target temperature. So it's near that now. And then once it does that, it takes about an hour and a half before it actually gets to the temperature, uh, before it gets to the doneness that I'm ready for. At that point, I will take it out and uh, then sear it on the grill. Uh, if it's light enough, I'll actually show you me searing it on the grill. Otherwise, um, um, I'll, I'll give you my uh, final impressions a little bit later. Okay? So it's been about an hour and a half that this has been going on since uh, it got to fully heated. Um, the app was interesting. Um, so the app, when it got to the full heat, it didn't automatically start the timer. It asked me if I wanted to start the timer, which I did. But it would have been nice if it just started the timer automatically. That's what I wanted. I'm sure there's other people who would just want to, at that point, put their meat in there. But I started putting the meat in there earlier um, before it uh, heated up all the way. Um, other than that, the app seemed to be... Uh, so the app had recipes on there I looked at um, uh, and some other setting things, uh, how-to information. Um, now... Um, the uh, as far as the meat is uh, concerned, um, just about done. I'm going to take these outside and uh, put them on the grill. Um, so I actually this piece over here about a minute ago, uh, I actually took out of the uh, um, took out and cut in two just to make sure it had it was to my uh, it was done the way I like and it is. So I'm now going to put it on the grill, but it is too dark for me to actually take you outside and show you. Um, so I'm just going to grill it, and uh, um, I, uh, at the end, will give you my feedback about uh, how well the steak is. Um, this was amazing. Um, the two steaks that I did were to the exact right doneness that I usually like, and I was shocked. Because when I put these on the grill, usually it takes a while for, it, for me to get it to the right doneness. Over here, it was just perfect. Uh, in addition to that, um, after I took this out of here, I put them on the grill, seared them for probably five, eight minutes, something like that, I just turned them over a few times, um, and they were great. The one steak had salt and pepper for seasoning, 
The other one had this uh, steak seasoning that has um, salt, um, black pepper, garlic, natural flavors, and extractives of paprika. Um, and so uh, this one, the one that had the seasoning uh, um, with these other things in it, was much tastier than the salt and pepper one, according to everybody in the family who had the steaks. Um, the, um, the pros and cons, uh, using this, the pro is that it gets done perfectly the first time. The con is it takes a lot longer than if you just put it on the grill and even with trial and error, uh, uh, um, uh, grill your steak. Um, but I would prefer doing it this way, that way it's done the way I'd like it uh, the first time. Um, so overall, i uh, give this high ratings. As I said, I'm a first time user of this. Um, and I plan on using this for other things, but for steaks, which is what I did this time, amazingly easy, high ratings. The other cons are the fact that it doesn't, that I could not get it to work with the Amazon Echo or the Google Home. I'm sure over time they'll get that fixed, or maybe I did something wrong, unlikely, but possible. Um, but uh, um, the, the I, I probably would not be using the Google Home or the Amazon Echo much. Uh, the app works just fine. Um, connecting it directly to the device. But uh, overall, this worked uh, just perfectly here. Um, and uh, I would recommend this to anybody.